everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build and deploy a website from scratch for free using Vue.js. Let's get started. This is my current personal website that I coded from scratch. It looks nice, but it's really blah. It's literally in black and white. So I decided to redo my website and maybe throw a splash of personality in there because, well, I have a lot of it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to build the homepage of my website and deploy it using Netlify. First, I started with the design process. Here I really wanted something to pop. I used Sketch, I played around with my name, and I ended up seeing something that I really liked. Now with a good design, you can start coding and you'll know exactly what you want to build. If you've never used Vue before, you'll have to install Vue. So you can open terminal and you can type in npm install dash g at vue slash cli, just like this, and it'll start installing for you. In order to create a project, I'm going to type in vue create and then whatever the title of your project is. And once this is created, you can go into that folder. So I'm going to change directory and then type in npm run serve. It'll start the view app on your local host and you can go into a browser. You'll see that there's actually something there. This is a starting point of your website. So now let's look at what the view code actually is doing and go from there. So the first thing that we can do is view kind of has this like hello world component set up. And I don't really want to use a name hello world. So I'm just finding and replacing everywhere that says hello world, replace it with home. Because all I want right now is a home page. I'm going to delete some of the extra stuff that comes with the template and then type in hello just to see that this is working. So I'm going to delete some of the CSS too so that I can at least start with a template that is somewhat similar to what I want. Here I'm just changing the color of the font to white and I'm making the background black. Now, using Sketch, I was able to export each of these letters, and here I'm just going to rename all of those to the appropriate letter name, and then start adding those into my HTML, because that's the first thing that I want on my website, is I want these big block letters showcasing all of my personality. The first thing I'm doing with these letters is I'm creating a div for each one, each with the class letter. You can think of divs as divisions, as boxes where you're packaging in smaller boxes eventually until you get to whatever item you're boxing. The class is just a label that tells you, hey, this is how you wrap it, or this is how you organize that specific box. And sometimes if you think about a big box with smaller boxes in it, you might want all those smaller boxes to be the same type of style, the same type of wrapping, the same type of item inside, whatever you want, right? The same type of color. This letter class it basically acts as a label telling each of these letters that I'm putting inside each of these images to act the same way. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that five times, change the letter within each one, and there we go. Right now, if we take a look at this web page, all of these are actually vertically aligned and we want them to be side by side, right? Because we want the letters to be spelled out horizontally across the page. What I can do is now I can tell the div that's holding all of these smaller letter divs, hey, I want these side by side. And we can do that by simply saying display flex. And naturally, when you say display flex, all the sub divs within that one are going to line up horizontally. And now what I want to do is I want to be able to center this. So I'm just making a few tweaks, telling like this div to expand the full page and then align everything in the middle, both vertically and horizontally. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a margin to my letter so they're not all smushed together. I think that right now this looks cool, but I would prefer if there's like a slight glow, slight like outline to the letters so that they stand out better on this black page. I'm just going to put a filter on here and I'm going to say drop a shadow and I'm just going to play around with that until I find something that I like. All right, so that looks good. And now I want to format it so that when I resize the page, the letters don't all stay the same size. And after a little bit of playing around, which you'll realize that when you're coding in CSS, sometimes you just have to play around with things until you find something that works. It doesn't always come naturally. It just takes a lot of practice. We have our five letters, but now we want to add some sort of menu so that users can navigate through the site and not just stare at five letters. So we're going to add a menu bar at the top of the website. When I'm starting, I'm going to create a div for the entire menu. And then I'm going to create separate divs for the left side, the right side, and the center because, well, I have a hunch that I might need slightly different formatting for each different segment. 
And then of course I'm gonna add the flex on there so that we get them side by side. But now I've realized I actually think that I want these five menu items to just be their own div within the menu. So I'm gonna get rid of the menu left and menu right divs. So now it looks something like this where each thing is its own item. I'm gonna put another class on the very middle item which is my name and style that so that it's a little bit bigger, it pops a little bit more. And then all the other things in the menu, I'm gonna just gray those out a little bit. And whenever a user hovers over one of the tabs, I want that to actually change a little bit just so that the user feels like they're actually like interacting with the website. I didn't know exactly how to do that right off the bat, so I'm just gonna play around with that a little bit, see what happens. Eventually, I realized that we can just put another div within the menu item div and specify the width of that in order to get an underline underneath that text whenever a user hovers over it. So that looks something like this. So I have the home page of my website done, and now I want to put it somewhere on the internet under its own domain so that the entire world can see it. And I'm going to do that using Netlify because Netlify is two things, easy and free. And we love things that are easy and free. So we go to Netlify.com and you can create an account if you don't have one already. Um, you will also need a GitHub in order to do this. So you should go and create that if you don't have one of those. So I'm just gonna log into Netlify using GitHub. And then I'm gonna click on new site from Git. Here you have to link your GitHub and you can select which repo you wanna deploy. And here, one thing that we haven't done yet is we haven't created a GitHub repo to store our code. So I'm gonna to go to GitHub, I'm gonna set up a new repository for this new website, and then I'm gonna to go to Terminal and initialize the folder using this GitHub repo. So here I can type in git init. Now I can link this folder to the specified git repo by typing in the command git remote add origin and then the link that GitHub produces for you. And then I'm gonna to push to origin master. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, now once you've set that all up, now that your code is in GitHub, you can search repos. And then on the next tab, you're gonna scroll down to basic build settings. And if you're using Vue.js, then you're gonna type in npm run build under build command. And then for the published directory, you're just gonna type in dist, D-I-S-T, and click deploy site. Netlify will look for that repo and basically monitor that repo. So every single time you push to the master branch in this GitHub repo, it'll actually deploy your website. So site deploy in progress, cool. Now it says it's published, uh, let's preview it. Ycube.netlify.app, and look at that, there's our website. It is literally that easy to build a front-end website from scratch and deploy it for free using Netlify. Now I'm working on the rest of this website, but if you guys have any ideas on how to add more banter into the other pages, definitely let me know in the comments because, well, I'm trying to add more personality, but I just want this to be like a ridiculous, funny website. If you're looking for more tutorials or fun projects to do with code, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting every Monday. Awesome, see you guys next time.